guys. Happy New Year. I hope you're having a great start to your January. I am parked, obviously, in my car right now. And I thought today it would be fun to hit up some of my favorite thrift shops and antique shops. This is a great time of year to sort of pick through things. So many people donate and sell in January. And I don't know, we're just gonna go see what we can find. Um, I also plan on going to one of my favorite little boutiques that sells a lot of house plants and picking up a few new plants for the house. I feel like in January, I just need some life in my home and it's nice to care for something living during the dreaded winter months when I can't be outside in my garden. So we're gonna do all that today. And of course, I'll take you back home with me and share what I picked up. So let's go head into the store. <laughs> Before we go any farther in today's video, I kindly wanted to just take a second and thank today's video sponsor, Upside. You guys know I love shopping for new decor, hunting for new treasures at thrift stores and antiquing. It's truly such a fun hobby and passion of mine. It's not always the cheapest and I truly try to save wherever I can. So that's where Upside comes in. If you're somebody that dines out, buys groceries or gets gas in your car, then Upside is for you. I have personally been using it for a really long time. I heard about it through another YouTube YouTuber years ago and downloaded the app. It is so easy to use. Once you download the Upside app, all you have to do is upload receipts to redeem cash back. You slowly add up over time. It's so great because these are items that you're already spending on, whether it be gas or going out to eat. I am always checking my Upside app before I fill up with a tank of gas to see where I can get the best offer and most cents per gallon. It's like free money. It's cash back on things that I'm already spending money on, which is awesome. Who doesn't love that? So you can use this cash back that you're earning in the app to purchase gift cards to places like Starbucks or even PayPal if you just want that money right back. Um, I do that sometimes, but usually I save up like five or ten dollars at a time. It's instant gratification because that doesn't take very long. And then it's a free coffee for me. In comparison to credit card cashback, you can earn up to three times as much money on Upside. Upside earners are earning over a million dollars per week, which is probably why it has a 4.8 star review on the App Store. To get started, download the Upside app. It's free and use the promo code Amy Fritz in all caps to get 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. Again, thanks to Upside for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to shopping. Finding treasures and rescuing items from thrift stores and antique shops is truly my favorite way to decorate my home. Not only does it make it feel unique, but it's just so much more collected and cozy and it gives such a warm old world feel. I love to check out all the different booths in the antique shop and just get ideas and get perspective on what someone else sees as valuable. Now, granted, not everything is a great find. You definitely have to sift through some funky stuff sometimes, but I really loved this basket. You guys will have to wait and see if I buy it or not, as well as everything else I look at today. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video because I not only do a little haul, but I also decorate and style some of the items. So I had a lot of fun in this day and we really go around and see a lot.
nine times out of ten when you're in the antique shops and there's iron stone in a display like this it's usually really overpriced um, or at least priced really high so I often don't buy um, iron stone from the antique shops I try to find it more in thrift shops when I can unless there's a piece that just blows me away and I gotta have it because sometimes that does happen, but it's so pretty to look at anyways. I only share a couple of clips, but now I'm in the boutique I mentioned, Expressions of the Home. The owner is super sweet and she has such a great selection of house plants. And I always love walking through her store and just looking at everything. She sells a lot of antiques and vintage finds and it's just really, really neat. I'm back from my little shopping adventure. Let's talk about what I picked up. So, um, the first couple of things I picked up are ironstone, which if you don't know, I collect ironstone, hence all of it behind me here on this back hutch. Um, but I found this really beautiful, I wanna say it's probably a serving bowl um, of some sort. 
I loved the handle and the detail and I just really liked the size of it. I don't have anything that looks like this. And the main reason I picked this one up was because I thought it would make a really pretty planter um, for house plants or for bulb flowers or faux flowers. I could totally see this um, sitting on a coffee table or on my piano or something like that. Um, and put some type of flower or plant inside. So really excited about this find. And on that same line, um, I did see a ton of ironstone today. I think all of the antique booths were just kind of trying to stock up for the new year, um, which was awesome. But I got this stack of plates. I paid $2 a piece for each plate, starting with this size. You can see behind me right there, I have um, this shape already in a larger size, but I thought this size was really cute but it gets better. There are actually four more plates and they keep going largest to smallest, going all the way to this size. Um, isn't that so cute? I just thought it was like the most darling little thing. So I have a ton of these white plates now in assorted sizes and the reason I got them, um, I think I wanna do some type of display of them on either my chimney, on the brick chimney behind me here in the kitchen, or on the wall somewhere. I think will be really pretty. I just love the classic look of china or plates displayed on a wall. It adds a lot of texture and interest, and I really find that it's a conversation piece. Um, I don't know, I just like it. I always like to buy my plate hangers on Amazon. I will link some down in the description below for you guys. Okay, and next up, let's talk about some house plants that I picked up. I tend to struggle with indoor plants, but I'm gonna try really hard this winter to enjoy some, to care for them. I find that it's just gonna be, I don't know, uplifting and just something about that green, that pop of color just brings so much life to a space. So I was on the hunt for some house plants and I found some really beautiful ones. I was trying not to find anything too like tropical or spiky because I feel like that sort of clashes with my style, but I found some cool ones. I forget what she told me. I'm going to have to look up what this is called. Um, I'll put it on the screen if I end up finding it. But this is a house plant that looks so much like an herb. I mean, this almost could be disguised as a mint plant if I didn't know any better. She told me the name of it. Oh goodness, I can't remember. But um, she said that it wasn't too fussy, that it likes indirect light, and um, hopefully I can keep it alive. My plan is to put it in this aged terracotta pot that I also bought at the plant shop. Um, I love that look, it came with a little dish. Too. So my game plan with this one is to put it in this pot and probably put it near my kitchen sink, kitchen windowsill area just for a pop of color. If you watched my recent mudroom makeover and then my after Christmas decorate with me, I talked about some faux paper whites that I picked up and made a little arrangement with, which I'm still loving. I think I'm gonna order more actually just to get me through the winter season. They're so pretty and you don't have to worry about them dying off. Um, but I did pick up some real paper whites today. I actually went into a local um, grocery store near me and they had some on display and I just thought the arrangement was so beautiful. Let's see. It's from Morningside Meadows Flower Farm, so that's adorable. But it came in this sort of recyclable paper type um, container, which is so cute. There's some moss and some stones in here. And then they stuck some type of like willow branch, I don't know, some type of branch in with the paper whites just for a more wintry look. I think this is so beautiful. I'm excited to have them bloom. I don't know yet where I'm going to put this. Maybe in the living room or maybe even here in the dining room. We'll have to see. But um, I saw them in the grocery store and I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> and next up, I have never seen this plant before. Um, the owner told me that it's pretty rare nowadays. It's an older um, plant that you don't see too often, but it's called a grape ivy. Grape Ivy, yeah. Um, but this is huge. <laughs> I thought it was really big. So you got a lot of bang for your buck. 
Um, it was pretty inexpensive, but I just loved the size of it. I think this will be a beautiful centerpiece, or again, it will make a big statement sitting on a table or um, tabletop, even here in the hutch. And what I was really excited about um, was that I was looking for a plant about this size for the ironstone bowl that I told you guys about. So I tried it out here. <laughs> and how cute is that? I'm so excited about it. This plant is like taking up the entire frame, so I'm going to put it down. But I'm probably going to set it back here on the hutch um, or somewhere. I don't know. And then the last few things I picked up from the store um, are just a couple of baskets. You guys know I'm always collecting cool baskets. Let's see. <laughs> Again, it's always so awkward to show these pieces on frame. I don't know if you can see, it's just a really cool shape. Um, it's got handles that come down and then it also has a lid, which I thought was really neat. Um, it's a nice size. It's not too big. It's not too small. I think this would be really pretty. It's a great basket to store toys or blankets, um, really anything. This could also live in my daughter's room. She can store some of her doll stuff in here. I'm always collecting wicker baskets. They're my favorite way to just store everyday items because they're functional, but they're also beautiful. And then along those same lines, I'm always collecting antique laundry baskets. You guys have seen them on my channel if you've watched any of my videos, um, but I primarily use them for on top of armoires or like our TV cabinet is shorter, so I like to stack them up, but I also use them for laundry as well. I think they're beautiful hanging on my peg, um, my peg rail in the laundry room. There's just lots of uses for them. Sometimes we use them just to go up and down with toys in our home, but all that to say, I found a very large size one um, today for $10, you guys. I was really excited about that. It's really big, but what I was most excited about is the color. It's definitely more of a worn finish and a light um, sort of grayish brown, so it's a little more cool toned. I have a few that are very warm, and while they're still beautiful, it's nice to find some baskets that have this aged look because if you buy them new um, from Target or Pottery Barn or wherever, they're like a hundred dollars. They're insanely expensive. So definitely check out thrift shops or antique shops if you're looking for big storage baskets. <laughs> I just love when you get home and you can just play around with the pieces. I think I'm gonna put this plant right here. She told me it wanted indirect sun, so it should be okay right here. But I love the look of that. I think it is so pretty and really complimentary for winter. I think I'm gonna put this right here, maybe. I still have to take the tag off, but. I like that better. So I had a faux floral arrangement sitting here before. Just for the time being, I'm gonna move that somewhere else, maybe upstairs, while I have these paper whites, because I think they look really pretty and they have a bigger impact here on the hutch area. You'll see them right when you come through the front door. And I don't know, I think they just look really pretty sitting here. I have all these plates and I'm trying to figure out how I want to arrange them. Um, okay, so I've been playing around with these plates for a while and I think I'm just gonna sit on it for a couple of days 
before I go nailing, you know, five or six holes in my wall somewhere. So we're just gonna stack these back up. I'll just stick these on the hutch until I can make a decision. Even that looks cute. I like the little stacked layered look. Alrighty, so I think that's all of the redecorating I'm gonna do for now. I have to run and pick up my kids from school, but I hope you enjoyed coming with me today and hanging out and just shopping. It's very true to my kind of everyday life when it comes to decor and rearranging. I love to go out to thrift shops, antique shops and just pick up a couple of small things and do some rearranging when I get home. And slowly but surely, your home and your space starts to come back to life after Christmas and in the new year and during these dreaded winter months. I'm really happy with some of my plant selections. I love that grape ivy on the piano. I think it looks really beautiful and I'm going to really enjoy these paper whites for a couple of weeks too. But if you enjoyed today's video and coming along with me to the stores, be sure to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here today. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and I will see you guys really soon in my next one. Bye.